Trib Live Radio presents everyone's favorite Steelers game show. Arrow up and arrow down with Steelers writers Ralph Polk, Chris Adamski, Mike Tomlin likes to play this game. Um, we better be a group that's continually arrow pointed up. And now the Steelers Roundtable gives arrow up and arrow down on Pittsburgh players. One thing, one thing about the NFL, it's always a long season. Almost anything can happen. The injuries uh, certainly you know, uh, dictate a lot of what's going forward. But now let's let's, take, let's, take a, let's do our arrows up and downs. And I know Marcus is going to really miss this second. <laughs> Yeah, more than anything else, because he, you know, he, he often accuses you of being long-winded. You got to get through it. I'm not going to make that accusation, but I want you to hurry up. Uh, you, 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 you ups and downs. Um, I'll go up, Sean Davis. I, I was, I, you know, I, I was impressed. Just, again, even though I think we saw a lot of it in practice, we saw a lot of it in, in the preseason games, but you know, it's a different story once you get to the to the real games and the way they trust him. He was out there a lot, and uh, you know, no real, at least noticeable mental errors. I was definitely happy with him. Uh, arrow down, it's kind of going, we made reference to this already too, and it's kind of a, a quirky arrow down, but I thought because pretty much everybody who played on, on Monday was was good. It is Marcus Wheaton kind of by um, circumstances not necessarily of his own that, that I think. That's sad, the- man, when you become an arrow down by default. <laughs> but, but, but not even That's playing. That's not even fair, man. Not even play- but, I'm but not it- even allowed that to happen. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to somehow stand up You're, for uh, Marcus Wheaton. I, I no I, I I do I do feel bad for him. I don't know I don't know if he's gonna ever roll when he comes back through no fault of his own. I, I don't know like I, I don't know how you take Eli Rogers off the field. I think you're gonna leave him on the field now. Do you take I I, I mean he'll play. You do I know that even our producer Mark Barker looked at you quizzically. Yes. <laughs> Why is that guy a dollar? But anyway, you you have that right. <laughs> That's what. Hey, see you, you are a, my, now. Now what are you doing? He's all over the place. I, I'm, I'm dropping things. I, I know. I'm you, you, you nervous about that pick? But anyhow. Thank you. I, okay, are you done? I'm the, I, I made my up and down. You can, okay, you go ahead. Man, Here's my up. Mark, I feel a day with this one. <laughs> my up, Eli Rogers. And I've been, you know, I've been kind of writing a little bit about Eli Rogers throughout the season. It fits him well with my down. I'm, I'm, I'm sold on Eli Rogers. You know, and and there's a reason why. Whenever Mike Tomlin uh, shows a certain has a certain relationship with a kid. It's because he, 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 and I think he has the same liking for Artie Burns, who, who I think is going to be a very good cornerback in this league. But, you know, they, think they could have easily given up on this kid. Like they do most football players. We mentioned earlier, you get hurt, you're out. Yeah. We move on to someone tough, else. Yeah. Whoever the next guy is standing. Tough world, yep. Okay. So he, Marcus Wheaton is hurt, and the next guy standing is Eli Rogers. And he may not take a back seat. Yeah, he may yeah, be yeah. splitting a lot of time with you know Marcus Wheaton in that slot, and if if Sammy Coase doesn't get you know to, to get it done, and then Wheaton's going to move outside. That seems to me to be the logical move you know with this football team going forward. My my down, I hate to have a down after the game the way he played, but there is one, okay. only because Cam Hayward said he was a downer. Okay, oh, I was enough. down listening fair to Cam enough. Hayward in the locker room after that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we didn't get the pass rush. You know, Stephon did that we wanted. You know, we, you know, we were lousy. You know, I'm not going to use some other words they use, but anyway, that, yeah, he just. <laughs> You know that. <laughs> What's that rhyme with, by the way? <laughs> yeah, you know that. <laughs> to me, uh, yeah, I, the expectations for Man. the defensive end. I should say as my as my downs, both defensive ends. You know, oh, wow. you know You're Stephon really, to it. This is and this Nick Saban esque after a sixty point yeah. win against a ranked I'm going team to in week rant. one. He was disappointed. I'm going to. I'm very. You won thirty sixteen. They should do a much better job next week. Against the Bengals because they're going to have to. The standard is the standard. The standard is the standard. And their guys did not live up to the expectations on on Monday night. That's our show this week. We'll talk to you next week. And uh, who are they playing in week three? The Philadelphia Eagles on the road. We'll preview that game. Talk to you next week.